What's up, everybody? I'm Combat. Call me Red. My boy Zing. What's going on? It's my man Cub right there. You know, we want to welcome you to the Combat Cub podcast, where we're going to reflect on fashion topics. Okay. Combat tech. Yes, sir. Funny videos. Hmm. News around the world. <laughs> Whatever anybody want to reflect on. Sounds good. But enough of me. Let's get to this cast. Dude, this never gets old. No, sir, it doesn't. Like, never. It's like I'm on an elevator. I know, right? You know, riding up or down. Kind of reminds me of when we're in Amazra. Hitting oh, them invaders. Mother. Hitting them invaders. Welcome back. Combat Cup Podcast. Episode 12. You know, it's your man Combat. You know, I got my right-hand man. My ace, Cub. Mm, baby. Let's go. First, before we even get started or move on or anything, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Hit a comment up. I hit you back, all right. Yeah. But let's get to this cash. You feel me? So, man, I got a, about three videos I got to show. You know? Okay. But the first one is crazy. All right, check this out. You know, summer's right around the corner. Basically, just here. Yeah. You know? Well, <clears throat> what's the what's the main thing? Because you know, here in Southern Tennessee, it gets hotter and shit. Yeah, it humidity. does. It does. What's the one thing when it's hot outside you need in your system? Taco Bell. <laughs> Water, water, <laughs> man, water. Yeah, uh, or your yeah, Taco okay. Bell. Yes, well, you know, I'm dehydrated mean, I as a, hell. Got a name, I got a name drop. You know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to get that sponsorship. I can't lie though, them bean burritos, you be eating, be slapping. I tried <laughs> one, dude. I have one every day now, if not two. <laughs> but oh man. But yeah, man. <sighs> Thinking about it right now. When it's hot outside, everybody should have water. When it's too hot, right? Yes, well, sir. Um, this video is gonna show a college student, a wrestler. Who okay. was uh, suffering from heat exhaustion? And oh, was wow. trying to find him a source of water. Well, oh, he didn't, wow. and then this happened. You can go ahead and play video. Oh please, my sir. goodness! I mean, did he survive? Uh, what we uh, we gonna we gonna show the viewers? All right. College wrestler with just minutes left to live. He was suffering from heat exhaustion and desperate for a sip of water. His parents say his coaches refused to help. Here's Lisa Guerrero. This college athlete is literally dying for a sip of water. Literally. He frantically tries to get into this building, but the door is locked. Grant's parents say he ran to this water fountain in a desperate attempt to find water, but the fountain was bone dry. His body was later found just yards away from here. People tried wow. in vain to give 20-year-old Grant Brace CPR. 911, in an emergency, and I got a student. He is. We found passed out. He's not moving. Is he breathing? No, I don't think so. A lot of people refer to wow. him as a gentle giant. You know, he was a big guy, um, kind of intimidating to look at, but so soft and kind like a teddy bear. Grant's grieving parents, Kyle and Jackie Brace, say their son would Man. still be alive today if only his coaches had let him get a sip of water. He was begging for water. Guys, help me. Please help me. Can and you nobody describe gave it to what was going on with Grant in those last moments as he was trying Scream to get through the doors? It was hot. It was very hot. The surveillance video wow. showed that he was trying to get in the school to get help, wasn't successful, and then was found close to a water fountain um, on his hands and knees. An autopsy ruled Grant's death was preventable. The cause? Exertional heat stroke. It's inexcusable. On the day he died, Grant's parents say his coaches made him run up and down this steep hill seven times. But when Grant became exhausted and begged for a water break, one of his coaches allegedly told him to keep going or he'd be kicked off the team. That's bullshit. They called it punishment. Hill. Wow. That's so bullshit. It was known on campus. 
It was a grueling day of practice in 80 degree heat here at the University of the Cumberlands in Kentucky. His friends on the wrestling squad made an effort at giving him water. But according to a wrongful death lawsuit, here. his two wow. coaches yelled Grant needed to get the water himself. That's when the young man struggled to find water, only to face a locked door. He was panicked. He clearly needed help. And wow. he wasn't getting help from any of the coaches or any of his teammates. Grant's parents and their attorney, Jamie Moncus, sued his wrestling coaches, Jordan Countryman and Jake Sinkovitz, and the University of the Cumberlands for wrongful death. I knew very early on there was no chance this family was going to be silent in talking about what happened to their son because their main priority was to raise awareness and to tell the story of what happened. Wow. I think the coaches um, That's sad though. That is. <clears throat> ultimately were responsible. His heartbroken sister Kaylee shared Man, That's crazy. I mean, why why would why would that even happen? That's yeah. why we stress the not even the kids, man. That's why we stress. Quit Quit drinking all of this like I do. Substitute it with some water, especially during the summertime, man. And, you know, you're going to be running around outside yeah. playing, you know, any kind of curricular activities, man. One to two bottles of water. As long as you got it in your system, you're good. Don't dehydrate. Don't die. You feel me? That's sad as hell. I mean, I could see something like that, like at boot camp, you know. They're mm -hmm. making you just kind of, you know, push through it. But this ain't boot camp. You're no, in college. You're paying boot. to be there. No, this ain't boot yeah. This boot, they give you water. Yeah. <laughs> they don't tell you, nah, keep going. You can be kicked <laughs> off the team. Yeah. Come yeah. on, bro. That's hella weak. Yeah. That's crazy, man. I mean, that's definitely negligence. Something that could have been preventable. That's you know? crazy on the autopsy. Uh-huh. Man, yeah, they're, they're going to be in trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But man. before we move on, I can't believe I let this slip my mind, man. I want to say congratulations. To all the seniors of 2023, you know, getting y'all diplomas, moving on in life. Yep. It's Welcome to adulthood. Yeah, Golly. this is this is where life kicks Ooh. you in the ass. It's gonna be fun. But the key word, <laughs> just like they said last night, it's a four letter word: work. Yeah. Work, 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 man. Work. You'll yeah. make it. Yeah. But uh, uh there's a uh, other couple of videos we're gonna get into, man. Is basically. Telling us about, you know, our debt here in the United States that, you know, we got a deadline, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I'll let them watch the videos and they can do whatever with it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Debt. Debt ceiling talks stall on Friday. Oh, man. <laughs> now, there are new developments this morning <laughs> in the debt limit showdown, and they are not positive. Negotiations ended last night with no deal and time to come to an agreement is quickly running out. ABC's Chuck Sievertson has the latest. It could be a busy weekend for sure. lawmakers in Washington trying to come to an agreement on raising the debt limit. After talks stalled Friday afternoon, negotiators for the GOP and the White House met again for about 90 minutes Friday night. But say they ended the closed door meeting with no progress and no set plans you know, for the next meeting. You know, he mean business. Come out with a hat and some coffee. That That's out. what I'm saying. <laughs> we um, we reengaged, um, had a very, very candid discussion, uh, talking about um, where we are, talking about um, where things need to be, what's reasonable and acceptable. Congress must raise the debt ceiling to pay the nation's existing bills, money that's already been spent. Two sources familiar with the talks tell ABC News a key sticking point, significant cuts to federal spending. As the president receives mm. updates while he's away at the G7 summit in Japan, no, the White House lost. saying Friday night they are <laughs> confident an agreement will be made. We are indeed optimistic. We think and we believe uh, that there is a oh, path dude, forward. Love curves, the U.S. Love facing default mm. for the first time in history come June 1st. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy <laughs> warning an agreement has to be made by Sunday for Congress to have enough time to pass the bill. The consequences mm. could be dire if they miss the deadline. Troops could go unpaid. Social security payments could be delayed for seniors. Y'all listen to this Stock closely. markets would likely plunge along with people's 401ks. Mm -hmm. Interest rates would soar, and nearly 8 million people could lose their jobs. The president is due to return to the White House Sunday. Japan. Chuck Sievertson, ABC that that News, bitch need New impeached. York. Oh, man. He need impeached. I don't care. 
bring back Trump. <laughs> Man, I, at least Trump was trying to get us out of debt. You feel me? And he, we wasn't pissing off everybody. Russia mm. was straight. It wasn't no nuclear nothing. Because they know Trump was a G. Trump man. was a G, bro. I don't know, man. When it comes to, like, uh, politics, and I, I don't I don't know. I mean, it, ever since, like, let's see, I remember, I don't, when I was a kid, I don't remember people um, just um, talking bad about their presidents um, until, let's see, it was uh, uh, Bush. I was going to say Bush. the error Bush. Yeah, I remember <laughs> just it being pronounced. I don't remember that with uh, Bill Clinton that much. Not as it, as it is right now where we just smack talk our presidents and stuff like that. I was just like, is that what we should do? I mean, I, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. That's true. You know? Well, hell, I was little during the Bill Clinton era anyway. Same. I mean, Same. But, you know, I was aware of the Bush era and on from there. Yeah. But, I mean, I, like, I, you know, like what you're saying, I... I was young. I wasn't, you know, and being homeschooled too, I wasn't exposed to, um, you know, that type of behavior from people, uh, talking uh, talking about people and you know, things like that. I mean, I was kind of, you know, naive to all that stuff. I'm not into politics either, though, bro. Yeah. You know, I'm from the uh, one of the worst hoods in San Francisco. I mean, we wasn't worried about no damn politics. We were worried <laughs> about more survival. Yeah. You know, Survive getting to school tomorrow. without being shot at and jumped and shit. Man. That's a whole nother uh, horse of another color, like to say. Yeah. 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 Another color. Yeah. That's wild. That's That sounds rough. Yeah, I, don't do, I don't really do politics, but if I think that the people need to hear it, you know, then yeah, the for people sure. need to hear it. Because... Most people don't watch shit like this, and they don't got a clue about what's going on in their own country. Mm-hmm. So yeah. why not let this nigga let them know what's going <laughs> on? You feel me? I don't blame you. <laughs> I think it's great. I think but it's great. this one, this clip is like almost six minutes long. We ain't going to play the whole six minutes. Uh, people will get the idea, you know, yeah. in the first couple minutes. But let's go ahead and roll that clip. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Put your pot lay. Being with Chipotle, a little <laughs> bit of sour cream. Canada's neighbor, the U.S., is in trouble. The government is about to run out of money. Team Biden is warning about a constitutional crisis. The U.S. could potentially default on its debts. The deadline is the 1st of June. An economic crisis looms, but American lawmakers are dragging their heels. In the next four minutes, we'll fill you in on the latest. President Joe Biden is short on time. His government needs money, else it could default on its debts. Biden's Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has issued warnings. Janet. Treasury Secretary is the finance minister of the U.S. And Yellen says the stability of the American economy is at risk. Damn, she's the it's secretary. Congress can't dress better than to that. Do this. If they fail to do it, we Damn. will have an economic and financial catastrophe <laughs> that will be of our own making. And um, there is no action that President Biden uh, and the U.S. Treasury can take to prevent that. Uh, catastrophe. Oh, a catastrophe, she says. And this is not really a new problem in the U.S. This has to do with their debt ceiling. It's one of the most divisive issues in American politics. Washington has had this mm. problem for Pause years that. now and has Pause not been that. able to find a person. Got a question. Yeah. <laughs> Why is, what is she, uh, Indian, Indian mm-hmm. woman telling us about our country? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is this? What is this? I was wondering that same thing too. Oh, I was like, uh, "What is uh, she know a whole lot, bro?" It's <laughs> like, damn. I think it's like the equivalent of like some sort of world news. I don't know what that F red dot means. Fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what a capital! That's a capital F too, bro. Oh man, I don't know, man. Um, I mean, America is always like the center of attention for the world, and everybody you know, watches American TV. Yeah, I mean, and it's probably a jab to America. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We'll play a little bit more of it. Um, I can't believe that shit. Her earrings is banging now. They are. She was pretty. She got bells on. Let me explain. Every government needs money. They need money to run schemes, to pay bills, run to pay schemes. salaries, <laughs> and all kinds of expenses. <laughs> what? Where do they get this money? Oh, they take no. a loan. They raise a debt. All governments do it. But in America, they set a limit to this. It's called the debt ceiling. It's a limit on how much money the government can borrow. Do you know what's the current limit? 
$31.4 trillion. So the Biden government cannot borrow beyond mm. this sum. Now, $31.4 trillion may seem like a lot of money, but for it the seems US like government, bitch. it's not That enough. is a lot. <laughs> They're about to hit this limit very soon. I meaning the Saudi government's Arabia. borrowing is set to touch $31.4 trillion very soon. They won't be able to Look borrow beyond this. Look at those crisp hundreds. So hundreds of the blue faces. That yes, sir. That is the at hand. Used to be it's big a bit faces, like having so a credit they changed the color of the bill. Say you have a card. Mm. You can use it whenever you want to buy whatever you want. But the card has a limit. Beyond that figure, you cannot spend. That is your credit limit. Now, what happens if you want to spend more than this? Oh, these motherfuckers going to give us an allowance? Bank, Put us on and an you allowance. Ask the bank you only spend for a so higher much, credit limit. That's how it works. <laughs> now, think of the Biden administration with a similar credit card. They're about to touch their limit. For them, the bank is the U.S. Congress, and the bankers are the Republicans, the opposition party. If Biden wants to borrow more cash, he will have to convince the Republicans. They must agree to raising the credit limit or the debt ceiling, as they mm. call it. And that is the biggest stumbling block. If you know U.S. politics, you would know that Democrats and Republicans oppose each other on most issues, and this is one and of them. you know U.S. politics? So Republicans are not ready to raise she the debt some off a screen. and Biden is furious. She might be he American. Said they're forcing the no, she's US still reading some off the screen. Oh, yeah. From our MAGA Republicans oh, I don't in Congress. Mm -hmm. You want to listen to him? No, don't. <laughs> I don't. That's May fifth. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I I don't follow any of that stuff. I mean, every time that this crisis comes up, it's just, it's always a crisis. So basically, the U.S. don't by reach it. this quota by what they say Sunday the first of June. Then either the, our debt is going to go up like crazy. And troops and Social Security and all that good stuff that people's getting checks for, you know. And just like they said, people's going to be out of jobs. It's just, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, man. At least people who work for the uh, government, uh, <laughs> for the, uh, um, you know, USPS, uh, Postal Service. The government. They, they still will make their money because they're not officially um, a, a part of it. I think that they're considered... Um, the, their revenue doesn't come, I think, from tax dollars. I'm, I think it. Uh, I think their revenue comes from like, um, you know, their in-house, in-app purchases. Yeah. You know, I think so. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think that's. They're not officially. Government issue, but <clears throat> I don't know. I don't work for them. Me neither. No, a few people work that for the do. That work for the USPS. Yeah. US yep. Postal mm -hmm. Service. Mm hmm. Sure do. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess the GOV. <laughs> DMV. She, but she is making cupcakes tonight. So. Yeah. Heck yeah. As Mexican. long as they bring me some ice cream sandwiches, I'm satisfied. Oh, my goodness. Me? Yeah. So, what we're going to do in our mouths are tonight? Kick some ass. Yeah. I that's, mean, that's number one. You want to tell our viewers and listeners about our experience trying to get that one dude in? Uh, okay. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't because I'm going to wait till we get his ass first. <laughs> and then well, I'll mention <laughs> something about it. Well, they might be able to give us some hints and pointers. Well, it's going to be a week before they hear this anyway. But, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, we getting his ass tonight. Yeah. Um, I can't wait, man, because it's like, well, we were close. That, that team kind of, you know, interrupted us. Yeah, that, uh, bitches. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Um, whoever that guy was that was, or Jesse, I can't remember the, his screen name or whatever, his tag. Um, Jesse, Jesse. Jesse Wolf, something. Jesse Wolf, Jesse something. Yeah. He was super just. <coughs> he or she, he or she we don't know. They were like super, super nervous. Wasn't even mic'd up. Yeah. Um. We couldn't uh, communicate or anything. <sighs> man, it was crazy. I mean, those those operators they knew what they knew what they were doing, man. I but mean, you know what? what? When we was down there, where we had to use our uh, our NVGs, man. Um, I looked at what, him, she, whichever character, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, and I asked him. They had a night vision, mm -hmm. and she put her gun like this, like yes, yeah, or no. So I bet it, she was he or she was communicating, yeah. just not in the way we needed it. Yeah, you know, um, that was rough. 
Yeah, that was a crazy. rough massacre, man. I, I think it was a six man team because we, w- I downed one, you downed two, so I, it was probably a six man team. They were just hanging back. They're like, "Oh my god, yeah, what do they do?" They, they, they were trying to run the night. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't happening. Yeah, but I did. they did, but it wasn't. We, man. we gave them a little fight. I mean, I had, uh, I had a, um, what was one of those backpacks? It's a scavenger backpack. Scavenger. You know, um, it was man. I think, I think the only difference between that and the others is I don't you don't have a slot for another gun. What so I <laughs> what I don't get about Warzone man is, dude, you gotta you 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 grab certain items and you can make a vest. Yeah. If we do that here in the U.S. and try to make a vest, we dead. You can make medic vests, all kind of vests in Warzone with yeah. just certain items, and I'm like, I don't want that. Yeah, backpacks. <laughs> Fuck does that happen? Yeah. Like, dude, dude, the team that killed us, he was like, man. They took my medical vest. Hell yeah, I took that motherfucker. <laughs> Damn right. I shot your ass from taking it. <laughs> I had one. I had one. And, you know, I was like, man, that's cool. I mean, that's one of the cool things I like about the active duty. You know, if you want to go in with one of your uh, operators that has a three plate um, or has a, you know, large backpack or whatever, you can do it. And even, you know, even if you get, you know, slaughtered. You yeah. can go back in with the three plate if you have another operator with it. I like that. You know, have multiple operators. So um, I figured out in Warzone how to take your custom weapons. Okay. And you know how you, if you get killed, can't use a custom weapon? Mm hmm. But you can actually make it a contraband weapon. Hmm. Where it can go into your contraband and then you still got your custom weapon and then you got another custom weapon, but it's just in your contraband. Oh, wow. You know? Yeah, I'll show you that tonight. I ain't giving out no secrets. <laughs> not today, no. Oh man, no, nah, no secrets for them. Yeah, man, I really like playing that game. It's it's addictive, <laughs> bro. It is addictive, man. Yeah, like that's probably one of the best Call of Duties I played besides Modern Warfare Two. Oh really? Yeah, and I played Call of Duty since Call of Duty first came out. Oh wow! From the Vietnam era to the actual Modern Warfare era to mm-hmm. now, and I think I've been playing Call of Duty maybe thirty years. Thirty years. Now, now for see the only one I'm familiar with is the uh, campaign. Campaigns now, now have they always had like some sort of multiplayer? Yeah, they online have? play. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm just now getting into getting on that bandwagon because uh, you know, living out in the boondocks, you know, right. we don't have a uh, a good internet. Got to get you some of that Loretto Hotel, man. Man, I know it. They big yeah, country. It's like <laughs> less than a mile away from where we are, and they just. You know, it's still a lot of... Call them. That's what we did. Well, it's still a lot of... Uh, in between our house and that mile away is like one neighbor. So they're like, yeah. And then there's a... On the other side, it's about a mile. That's about three miles the other way anyway. So they're not going to run cable three miles because it's all just... Uh, they grow, you know, pine trees, you know, for the paper company. So... Um, and the other way is about a mile away. But I can't seem to find. I don't know how the system works anyway. I guess a company runs the fiber, and then another company buys the contracts for that area. So I guess that's how that works, and uh, I guess nobody's picked it up. And you uh, need to some I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I got. I have a satellite. I'm wondering too if if it's like a oh, you got surf Houston? thing. Um, I think it's Via Sat or something. Viasat. That's what that's what Steve Bob used, man. He yeah. said Via Sat was good, but I guess it ain't if you can't game out there. Yeah. Um I'm I was gonna I was gonna use Via Sat there for once. Oh really? Man. There's another one they said is good as out of Mount Pleasant. Um Damn. Well, I was wondering if, if the satellite companies have the contract for that area and they're like, No, we're not giving that up right now. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I received an email and VSAT was like, yeah, we're looking at in June because they're going up on some of their prices. They're looking at in June to um, update their service to where it's 100, meg- 100 gigabyte um, downloads. Right now it's like 25. Uh, no, it's like 12. 12? Gigabyte. Yeah, that's Bro. what I have see, on a good day in Dallas. This is why I got rid of uh, HughesNet. For one, I don't see why Charter didn't come all the way out to damn Etheridge. I mean, we're just right there, like, but whatever. And um, so we went to HughesNet, and HughesNet was only 25 megabytes. 
All right, that ain't uh, shit. Especially with a bunch of people in the house. Everybody connected to their devices. There was no way of gaming without lagging. And I was like, no, mm -mm, we getting rid of this. I'm I'm going to gig country, getting Loretta Tail. Got Loretta Tail, man. Man. Online gaming sense. Yes, sir. (laughs) I can't wait till it's out there, dude. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Becca had to call them and then they was like, yeah, we can hook up out there. I'm like, what? Get it. <laughs> yeah. Shoot I, think, I think we're running 500 megabytes. Oh, wow. Almost a gig. Almost 500? A gig. Yeah, here at the office, it's like, um, just for Maverick, man. I don't think so. Um, yeah, here at the office, it's like 600. 600? That's good. Yeah. I'm going to go check the dough real quick. Keep the show going. All right. Anyway. Yeah, so we've been we've been tearing it up over in Almazra on Call of Duty, and that's our that's our thing, man. We we really enjoy it. Right now, we're at um, recently Warzone added another map uh, right below um, Almazra, so uh, we we've been trying to beat this boss, and it's always happened to where. Either there are other operators that were before us that already, you know, beat the level. Yeah. And, you know, killed the bosses. Or the bosses killed us. (laughs) So we're trying... It's been more the bosses killed us. Yeah. Because... It's been nuts. We're trying to figure out how to prepare for this SOB. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mean, I've seen a few videos. Like, they would use, like, a a bomb bomb drone. Bomb drone. uh, And then find him and then, you know, detonate right over him. Uh, that it will take him out uh, because they say that he's like a, a you know bullet magnet or a bullet he's, sponge. He's wearing a, a EOD fit, basically, which absorbs um, explosions. So, yeah, we might be shooting this dude. This fool ain't feeling it. Yeah, I I beat him one time. So, um, and that's using shotgun. Mm. So slug. Yeah, or no, it was just whatever came with it. I think it was just a. Um, just whatever that, yeah, I think it was like a, basically buckshot. Buckshot? Yeah. But, uh, it was, it was doing, is that Bronson or Branson? The, Bri- the Bryson? Bryson, yeah. Bryson, yeah, dude, so. I watched the video, dude, it was in Resurgence, man. He was, I don't know how he was sniping with the <laughs> Bryson, okay, sniping. Yeah. From another building to another building. Yeah. And was hitting them accurately. I'm like, what the fuck? It's probably a slug. A shotgun? Yeah. <laughs> really? It was a slug. Over, like, over pack up. <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, this I mean, I've been following these little tricks and tips off of TikTok, man, how to um which which certain loadouts to use to make your gun accurate um with the most damage, yeah. you know, blah blah blah, and dude, all 10 of my loadouts are slamming right now. Wow. Like, you can wow. pick any any weapon in my loadout, use it. It's it's the bomb. There's wow. no there's no recoil, no kick. I mean, there's no jumping on a weapon. It's amazing, man. Man. And uh, I tried to get little dude that uh, comes to, you know to the house with my little niece's boyfriend, whatever, blah blah blah. And he took a picture of my loadouts and shit. So when he get his weapons leveled up to where they need to be, yeah. maxed out or whatever, um, he'd be able to put them loadouts to work. Wow. You know. Yeah. And and once he put them loadouts to work, he's gonna see a whole new difference of playing Warzone, man. Oh, man. Like. When you go from this, when you shoot to just, mm, it's amazing, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I I want to try, uh, um, what is that? Battle. It's not Battle Royale, but I think it is, right? Resurgence. The Resurgence. One I yeah. Yeah, I play that all the time. I want to like do that. I want to do that again. That's yeah, that shit fun. That'd you get awesome. all nothing but operators in, in the map, man. No AI, no none of them. Just yeah. operators. And anybody you see just. <laughs> There's a dude on TikTok that I watch, and he's always doing uh, their solos version of that. And, you know, today I think I watched a little bit of his uh, stream, and he, I think he came, like, to second. So I thought it was pretty pretty cool, man. Uh, he was able to, like, sometimes he even wins. So what's the point of playing playing those anyway? Oh, no. Just, just, like, but leveling str- up? Yeah, probably just leveling up. Especially mm. weapons, man. That's that's your main thing. You get your weapons maxed out, and just like I said, the right loadout, the mm-hmm. right attachments, bro, you're unstoppable. Wow, and that's cool. It, but it also depends on how you play in game. If you got your sensitivities all set up right, I mean, you'd be a beast, man. Yeah, I I mean, like, what do you 
let's see about DMZ. What do you like about DMZ? Oh, the looting. Yeah. The looting and sniping and just sitting there, sitting back, watching the other operators until I they at the end of my darn scope okay. and at the beginning of my bullet. <laughs> 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 and I drop their ass. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I I like I like hunting down operators. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm, me. I'm with- <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh, Just God. Just know that. Oh, God. You'll see this uh, gamer tag that say Combat Cub 931. Just know I'm there coming for that <laughs> ass, baby. My thing is I like it, man, because it's like, I don't know. It's um, just an experience. I mean, even though it's like the same building, same everything, but every time it's, we're deployed, it's a different experience. It's a new a new thing. I, I, I don't know. I just enjoy it. They don't get boring. It does not. It does not get boring not at one, all. Like, one deployment, that's the same mm-mm. as an experience. So, um, yeah. Uh, but, uh, you got anything else, man? Uh, see, I got a whole lot of stuff. Yeah? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. I don't know what pictures you missed. You just got here. You put, you missed all of them. <laughs> Where is that? All right, that's what's up. You got yeah. anything else? No, sir. I didn't bring any videos. You coming over tonight, right? Yeah. All yeah. right, that's what's Play up. Some out. Play some uh, Call of Duty. DMZ. Yes, sir. Yeah. I should bring probably some uh, ice cream. Crab legs. Ice. Oh, okay. I will bring some crab legs. <laughs> I don't. I don't know where to get them, but <laughs> we had to go down to Juicy's. We gotta go down to Juicy's. Man, look, oh, you can't be talking I, about I chicken Alfredo go. while we recording. You gonna yeah, make me hungry? Live. Chicken Alfredo. I can't. I can't eat that. It's not vegan. <laughs> Nor are they bean burritos. So you got you got tortillas and beans. Red sauce, well, onion, I'm chipotle, there. sour I'm cream. There. <laughs> 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 Bro. <laughs> You suck for getting me addicted to them damn things. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I survived college on those things. Man, they they make a good munchy food. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Never did that. Huh. Like, if you just want a little snack, yeah. make you a little bean burrito with chipotle and sour. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm hungry. Man, I'm getting there myself. Bro. Man. But, but if you ain't got nothing, and I ain't got nope. nothing, and Fred and John ain't got nothing. No. Hey. Then I guess... It's over. Just want to say <laughs> thank you for tuning in to episode 12. You know, it's your man Combat. <laughs> Got my boy Cub on the right. One love, we out. Peace. Peace. <laughs>